What is up, guys? Epic Vanilla here, and we are back with another episode of Skyblock. So, um, I finally thought to myself, enough is enough. And I decided to actually properly look up how to get some husks. Because my method clearly was not working. So, thing number one... Uh, which I didn't realise. I thought we were playing on normal, but apparently we weren't. We were playing on easy. So let's chuck that over to hard because more monsters spawn on hard, I guess. Uh, and the other thing that I was, that I did, you can see over there, uh, that looks a bit different from what it looked like last time. So. Essentially, I've got rid of that stupid platform there, and I've gone down. And I've made myself a farm. Now, technically, it's an AFK farm, um, which I'm not going to be doing any any sort of, like, you know, AFK just off-camera sitting and waiting, because I think that's pretty dumb. Um, so I won't be doing any of that, but... We can uh, we can go we can go sit down there for a minute and see. Actually, no, we can't because it's daytime and this only works at night time. So basically, spawning platform here. Uh, so this is a really cool thing that you can do if you hit press F3 and G. Uh, it shows you the the borders of the. Oh, hang on, I need to turn my shaders off for this. It shows you the borders of each chunk. So this is the desert chunk. So I had to do this. Um, and yeah basically that was the spawning basically that whole thing this whole chunk is is desert so yeah so i've built that then up here uh you've got villager which i'll show you how i got him down in a second uh a campfire down there i didn't know you could build campfires so easily i mean it makes perfect sense really but i didn't realize you could build them so anyway that's that um and i i built myself this little landing strip just to land in when we come down here so um basically they fall in there they die and then they drop their stuff into the into the hopper oh, into the hoppers and then into the chest and essentially what you're supposed to do, obviously at night time, you come over here and you just stand here, basically, and wait. And they'll all spawn and extremely boring. Um, but we'll do that in a minute. Once it becomes night time, we'll do that. So yeah, uh, if, I, if I climb this ladder, I can show you um, exactly... How I got... It was quite scary, to be honest. Um, I've left that there. Just as kind of like a little memory of... Uh, you know, my attempt and my failure of trying to do it before looking at tutorials. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was quite scary, really. Because uh, essentially all I did um, to get the villager down... Um, I built the platform that he was going to land in down there. Uh, and then I basically just... Well, I'll show you in a sec. So there's trap doors there. Um, and I just put the trap doors there. You know, got in the boat. Got him onto them trap doors and then just opened them. And he fell. And obviously he landed perfectly. But... I had to make sure that I was at the right coordinates and everything. It was quite scary. But, yeah, so I did that. Um, so another thing that I've just thought about. Um, last episode, off camera, I... Uh, I... Attempted to get some... Oh, what's that? Copper. Is that copper? What is that? It's copper. Nice. 
Okay, right. Um, let's just get rid of this water, shall we? Yeah, um, I tried to get a little dripstone thing going. And apparently, you need dripstone blocks to get more dripstone. So, uh, wrong way. Yeah, so, um, it's not lava, it is water uh, that you need. I did a little bit of research. I'm proud of me. I actually did some research before just jumping in and trying everything. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you can see here, I tried to... I tried to... Well, yeah. Make the, the dripstone thing. Um, but it, it didn't work, obviously. But the reason it didn't work is because... That dripstone needs to be on a uh, dripstone block, like hanging from a dripstone block. So, like that. And then, then the pointed dripstone goes on. And it should still drip water, technically. Why is it not dripping any water? Is my water up there like vanished or something? No, it's still there. Oh, we are dripping water. Right, yeah, yeah. So, I think essentially, if I wait long enough, that will start growing down. I wonder if it works on the lava one as well. Should I try it? Because if we can get two going at the same time, that would be much more effective, wouldn't it? We can try that. We can try that. I'm not sure whether it will work for both or not, but... Oh, actually, now it's night time. Let's go down and see about the, uh, the sand thingy, the husk farm. Let's go do that. Whoa! Coming in way too hot yet, yeah, look at them all. So what do we have here? Oh my god, look at them, it's actually working. This is the thing, I built this and then I walked away. I wanted to see it firsthand, like, on camera. So I, I built it via the tutorial. And then I just didn't check to see if it worked. That's insane. Look at them all. This is incredible. You've got full sand already. Oh my god, this is amazing. Why didn't I do this before? This is uh, just ridiculous. We're going to have uh, loads of sand in like absolutely no time at all. This is... This... Oh, we can get more glass and we can do the end crystals. Yeah. Oh, I also off camera did another couple of trades. And so we've got a couple more blocks of emeralds there. But yeah, this is insane is working so well so yeah I initially thought that it wasn't going to work because uh, whilst I was building it I like blocked it off the, the, I blocked off the platform so that they couldn't actually um, you know get to the villager um, and there was no husks spawning and I was like why why are none spawning what's going on what have I done wrong like normal, normal zombies were spawning and then I realised that I, I hadn't removed the uh the platform up there because they were also spawning in daytime as well which really confused me but obviously even though it was light down here they had a block above them so it it allowed them to spawn because minecraft mechanics make perfect sense so 
yeah that was that um so yeah it was really confusing um but i eventually figured it out uh and yeah it works i obviously went up there and i got rid of the platform and Is this spider doing? How has a spider even got there? Ah! Yeah, you fool. Well, there you go. See, nothing's dying now. Do I have to still stand over here? In theory, this is the block that I have to stand on for it to for it to work. And I can actually see on my mini map that there is one husk there, but there should be more spawning, unless I've done it wrong or something. And there, I mean, there is a lot of monsters over there. Because what I can do is just like go far enough away so that they all despawn. And then come back. And yeah, a bunch more spawned. But there was another method that you could do. It involved like rails and stuff. So I think you had to go to like a certain distance away. And then have this like circle of rails. Just like taking you in and out of the the point where they despawn and spawn again. But I figure just flying away and then back again is... is you know, easy enough. 14 sand, look at that. 15, ah. Oh, we are getting sand thick and fast now. Oh, actually, do you know what? I think I might. it might benefit me from using my sword. Or, oh, to be honest, rather than doing this, because this is obviously an AFK farm, it might be worth me slashing them instead of using the campfire. Because then I get the looting. Don't I? I could do that, couldn't I? I think maybe that's probably a good idea, you know? Because if I do the looting, I could get... Oh, wow. That's dark. I think that's probably a better idea, you know. Let's try that. Because if they all fall in there, I can just slash them down with my sword, and then I think that'll be a bit more of an efficient method. Huh. Sugar. I just need him not to blow up. I don't know if this is working properly or not, to be honest. How many sand did we just get from that? Six. Is that is that actually any better? I have no idea. Charcoal? I mean, I think that's working pretty well. <gasps> Bunch of XP as well. A lot of XP. There we go. Ah. Is 
I'm just trying to make it a bit more. Ah! Since when? Right, let's try and get a few more spawns before before the night is the night is out. Is that far enough away? I don't know how far away I need to be. Okay, that's far enough away. Ah, oh, it's not spawning anymore. Because it's too bright. Oh my god. Well, that's sad. You know, I'm not convinced that... Ah! I'm not convinced that that is uh, necessarily a better way of doing it, you know? Oh my god. This is not good. Because I know exactly what's going to happen. He's going to shoot the fucking creeper. And he's going to blow up. Look at this guy. Ah, uh -huh, he's burning. Just wait for him to burn. Why is this guy not burning? Is it because he's got, like... Oh, no. Burn, you little bitch. Oh, my God, there's multiples. Uh-oh. Don't. Thank you. There's one down. Skeletons doing my head in. Die. Okay. Okay, right. Well, let's go home then, I suppose. Because there is uh, no more thingamajigs there. And that was a success. That was a great success. I love that for us. We've actually got a husk farm. And it's working. It's working. Better than ever. Um, well, I suppose, in the meantime... We can do a little bit of... Emerald trading. Do -do -do. Um, it's a really inefficient way of getting emeralds, isn't it? I mean, to be honest, it, I could just combat that by having more, uh, more villagers. Can I? Do you know what? What's that? Is that a smithing table? It is, isn't it? How do we make a smithing table again? Let's just make another smithing table. And make another one of them. Uh, into a thing. So, how do I make a smithing table again? <laughs> smithing table. Wood and iron. Uh, planks. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we can just make another one of these spare villagers into a, a smith, can't we? That's a point. Eventually, we'll probably need to get another villager for here, because we obviously used one, didn't we? Now, do I want to... Because these guys are going to mess it up straight away, aren't they? Aha! Gotcha. Right. Uh, that's annoying. I need to level you up by... Oh, that's annoying. Okay, right. Coal it is. Is this guy even definitely going to have my... the trade that I want? Uh, I don't even have that much coal. 
What are the other guys' trades? I'm thinking it might be better to... Yes, it is. So I have to trade emeralds with him to level him up. By buying stone hoes. This just seems like such a step in the wrong direction, doesn't it? Right, let's chuck away all these. Because let's face it, we don't need them. The hell do we need all them for? You there. Nice. That'll do. 32 emeralds for a bell. Oh. Let me go get some more gold. I am so determined to just get this block of emeralds challenge done. Because it's so annoying. I'm so close. And the thing is, like, once I've got it, I will probably never need to... Well, maybe one day, but I won't need to, you know get emeralds in a very long time because I'll have lows at that point we need six more blocks we need more gold more gold uh all right Gonna have to do some more uh piglin killing at some point. Oh he doesn't have any. He does. I need to get more iron as well though. Say what <laughs> if I didn't have that golem farm God knows what I would have done to get all these. All right, we've got to be close now. We have to be. <laughs> Two more blocks. Ah, oh, jeez. Right. You don't have any. Five. It's not even enough, is it? I need one more block. One more stinking block. He's out. He's out. He's out. Ah. All right. He's out again. Are you kidding me? Just need like a few more. How many do I actually need? I need three more blocks. Uh, three more emeralds, sorry. So put that in there, that in there, that in there. I guess that in there and that in there. Uh, I can smelt the copper. Oh, more glass. Um. I don't even have any rotten flesh. Barely any. Sticks it is. This is what it's come to. Scrounging my wood collection for sticks. There we go. Prepare yourself, guys. Yeah, boy. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah. Something else I forgot to mention. Um, I... Oh, right, I'll put these freaking emeralds back in here now. 
Um, yeah, something else I forgot to mention. Um, is I was doing a little bit of messing around with the the uh, advancements. So obviously, I think this one's exactly the same. Oh no, it's not. So there is different ones. So I I was messing around with the 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 data packs because they're what adds adds these special advancements and I don't really know what I did it but I seem to have more now I don't know I don't know what I did but I have more so I guess that's good so I've got buy an explorer map from a village I assume that means a villager um but yeah so there's that obviously these two which I thought I did this one as well so maybe maybe I just need to where's my moss there we go right so I guess it bugged out a little bit now I've done that so yeah um yeah so then we go over to the nether one and there's a couple more again uh so I accidentally removed this I think there's like two data packs that add all these in and I remove one. Um, so I guess I removed that one and then put it back. So it's not registering that I've done it now. So I still haven't done this one or this one. Um, we've got da -da 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 -da, that. Have every potion effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Charge a respawn anchor to the maximum. I have absolutely no idea how respawn anchors work, but obviously that's something we can look into and do. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also did have a little sneak peek into the uh, into the the data pack files, and I did see uh, that after I get this kill the wither to obtain ancient debris, there's another one for netherite armor. So I'm assuming that you do generally have to kill the wither like a bunch of times to get a full set of netherite armor, which is going to be really hard. This was the other one that I saw that was quite interesting. So there's a bunch more in the collectors one. Grow a stack of wheat, that should be easy. Plant a seed and watch it grow. That's going to be annoying. Uh, I'm not going to do that one on camera. I'm just not. Unless I could do it with bone meal, in which case it'd be super easy. Uh, sea pickles, use a campfire to collect honey from a beehive using a glass bottle without aggravating the bees. Now, that was a mouthful. I don't even know how we're going to get bees, but obviously I assume there's a way, so... We will do that at some point, and then back of honey blocks, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beet roots, I'm sure we can do that pretty easy. Same as melons, because I think we've already got the seeds. Again, we can do that, easy, no problem. And wart farmer, I mean, we do have nether wart, but who knows. So yeah, we've got a bunch more stuff to do. Uh, it's still data packs. Uh, what have we got? Data packs, trees, it's maybe chopped. Oh. oh, I see. This is just telling me what ones we've got. Yeah, so. Yeah, that's cool, I guess. Uh, and then the end, I think this one's the same. There's no extras in that one. But yeah, so we've got a bunch more stuff to do, which is going to take even longer. There's me saying a few episodes ago, yeah, we're going to have this done in no time. Well, I don't think we are. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah, exciting stuff. Very exciting. Um, now, is that? Have we just collected copper from a drowned? Okay, well, we didn't collect it from a drowned, but uh, I guess that's one way to cheat the system. So, lol to that. Um, I'm not going to complain. Okay, right, well, uh, yeah, I'm going to end that episode there, guys. So, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.